Hebrew understanding of it is finished. When you hear your favorite minister say that Jesus said, it is finished, tetelaste in Greek, you know the person hasn't studied deeply. Jesus did not speak Greek. He was a Hebrew and spoke Arabic. In fact, he spoke biblical Arabic, not modern Arabic, which is what one would hear today. Note, the Bible records this in John 19.30 as Jesus' last words on the cross. What are the differences between Nashalan and Meshalim in Arabic? Meshalim and Meshalim are not standard Arabic words, but they might be transliterations or variations of other Arabic or Aramaic terms. Here's a breakdown based on what they might refer to. Nashalan. This term doesn't appear to be a standard Arabic word. It might be a specific term used in a particular dialect or context. This word was received from a rabbi. Mashalim. This term seems to be related to the Aramaic word mashalmo, which means it is finished or completed. In Aramaic, the prefix ma indicates a pile infinitive form, a grammatical construct used to express a completed action. Examples, mashalem, in a religious or historical context, mashalem might signify the completion, a significant event or task. For example, in a biblical context, it could denote the completion of a prophecy or a divine act. In John 19.3, Jesus said, it is finished. Nashalan.